In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at a plugin from Voxango called Teot or Teote. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. I just say Teot. It's a kind of like a spectral balancing tool or an automated intelligent EQ similar to Gullfoss. The person that actually recommended me to check this out said that they find Gullfoss quite harsh in the upper frequencies. They're very sensitive ears for high frequencies and they found that Gullfoss was really fatiguing for them, even in very small amounts. So they had recommended this one and said that it seemed a lot more natural in the results. So yeah, you put it on, it automatically sort of balances the EQ for you, but then you've, you've a lot of different controls here to affect the attack and release and the amount of the effect. And you've got low cut, high cut, all, um, you can adjust the amount of bands and all this kind of stuff. But also in the settings, it's pretty customizable. So you've got a lot of settings that you can adjust here to tweak the kind of feel of the plugin to your taste. Then you have the actual interface, which some people don't seem to like from the Gearslitz thread that I've read. Some people seem to think it's very dated looking, but what I find is if I go to gray blue here, or blue, I think it was gray blue. And then that's almost the same color, the background as my Cubius. But then if I go to the window base and change that so that it's pretty much the same color as you know, Cubius and it just fits in really nicely. Just looks like a stock Cubase plugin now, kind of. Um, yeah, I'm not really bothered at all by the look of it. I'm more concerned about how it sounds, so I'll turn it off here. I'll let you hear this guitar that I've put it on in solo. This is the track off my latest album release, um, but it's one that I sort of felt like there were a couple of issues with. So yeah, I'm going to go back and tweak it and use the Slate VSX to listen to it in different environments and make sure that it translates as well as possible. So I'm going to put the tilt on this guitar track and then we'll see how it sounds. <laughs> That's it just at the stock. And it's doing quite a lot of boosting. Bring this back. Which adjusts the intensity of the effect. Like a dry wet knob, basically.
adjust the amount of bands. Good little cut. Just cleaned up that guitar a little bit. Just cleaning up some of the mud in that acoustic. It's a classical acoustic guitar, nylon strung. Yeah, this reality's crushing me. Strummed with a thumb, so it's got quite a lot of low in it. Three microphones all record in one take. So a stereo pair of small condensers and one large condenser. So I'm just taking off a bit of the high, taking off a bit of the low. Definitely reminds me a little bit of Gulfos, Sign Theory Gulfos. Try it on the vocal bus here. Just tune in. Yeah, to anyone who's listening, we just tune in. We just tune in. We just tune in. Just tune in. Just tune in.
Sorry, I just thought to edit that one of the vocals. There was like a little bit from the take that was coming after it. So we'll do the same on this guitar solo. Peace.
Right on the monster bus here. Very transparent. Well, <clears throat> pardon me. The crazy thing about this plugin is that it doesn't actually add any latency. Soothe is adding latency and little labs. Phase correlation is adding latency, but Teot is not in any latency, which means that you could actually track through this, which is kind of crazy. It's a really cool plugin, definitely sort of in the same vein as other intelligent plugins like Gulfos and things like that, but it seems a bit more transparent to me. So yeah, I think it worked really well on everything that I put it on there. It was very transparent and cleaned up the low end and muddiness and brought out the clarity, but without bringing out any kind of harshness. So yeah, hopefully the audio examples in this helped you. and. Check it out if you're interested. Cheers.